Alright guys, in this video I'm going to be showing you around the Logitech Z523 speaker system which is 2.1 active speaker system meaning the amplifiers inside the subwoofer and powering the speaker drivers. Let's start off with the satellite driver. Now the dimensions of the satellite driver is a width of 8.6cm, a height of 29.5cm and a total depth of 13.2cm. You got inputs on the side of the uh, satellite driver, headphone and 3.5 jack you then got the volume control, turn it on, it lights up orange and the bass control depending on how much bass you want coming from the subwoofer part there you've also got a 3.5 jack which is connected to the back of the speaker the same again the other side, same dimensions but without the controls obviously now coming onto the subwoofer the dimensions of the subwoofer is 22.9 centimeters in width a height of 25.4 centimeters and a total depth of 24.1 centimeters. At the back of the subwoofer, you've got an RCA input, left speaker connector, and a right speaker connector. And below that, you'll find the power input. Now, the total watts of this sound system or speaker system is 40 watts RMS and the frequency response is 35 hertz to 20 kilohertz you've got two two inch drivers on either satellite driver which is 9 watts RMS and you've got a second uh, driver on the back of each one as well gives a more surround sound feel and the units are ported same again on the other side driver on the back and it's ported now coming to the subwoofer, which has a 5.5 inch passive radiator, which generates more bass and clearer sound. And below that, you've got the subwoofer, which is 5.25 inches and total of 20 watts, 21 watts RMS. I removed the subwoofer just to show you guys inside and how the size of the magnet. As I said, this uh, speaker, the subwoofer, is 5.25 inches and the size of the magnet. Uh, 6 ohms, I'm guessing that's 30 watts peak power. Now, the inside of the box, you've got the power, uh, the amplifier in there, and inside there, you've got the back of the passive radiator. I'm now going to do a sound test, then, I'll do a frequency test from 20 to 200 hertz. <laughs> Thank you. 